I am a poor wayfaring stranger, a traveling through this world below. So we're here at the Porcupine Mountain Ski Area in Porcupine mountains wilderness and we're getting ready to go or ski or snowshoe in pulling some toboggans into the union river cabin and stay there for three days and then move to the union bay east yurt so a total of six days out here and um just getting our stuff together and we're gonna hit the trail Now this is a way to show up at the cabin. We're on the last half K. Nice easy glide downhill. Yeah, baby. Arrive. Shush on in. Shush on in. I am a Oh wow, is this awesome? Wow. Here's what we're cooking on tonight. And this is what's cooking. Potato soup. Potato soup. Fake meat. Veggie brats. And there's more veggie brats. No, those are the buns. And this is our chef. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's the captain showing us how it's done. Nothing like splitting in your long underwear. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but it's better than in my short underwear. <laughs> this is a resupply operation here with our heavy duty log hauling apparatus. Uh, Nat and Lane are doing a little short snowshoe trek and maybe a ski. It's about noon, we're really slow to get going. And Sandy and I are gonna try to follow a flagged route. It's kind of a backcountry route to the Lost Creek yurt along the Lost Creek. And with the short days, we're hoping we'll get back before dark. We have headlamps and battery packs in the case we go into the dark. We're faint, there's an old faint track that we're following, fortunately, to make it easy but uh, a lot of it's overgrown. We're going through twigs and stuff, but that's all right, it's fun, it's really fun. Are we on the groom trail? I uh, know. Hells no. Here's what we're looking for.
We're in this deep brush going up a hill through a path. Hard to get through with the skis, it's too deep to walk. So we're gonna take the skis off, carry them, and take the snowshoes up. So we're switching back to skis. We're almost, Yay. it's been a bushwhack really, mm -hmm. and it's slow going. It's two hours of daylight left. It's taken us three and a half to get here to go four miles. And so we're gonna take a different route back. It's about the same distance, but it's a snowmobile trail that'll be faster moving. Pushing on by. not cool. I'm not supposed to be passing you. You like, can, that's all right. He's gonna pass out in a second. Here's my Union River Cabin Haiku. Towering Hemlock. Winter's Sentinel waiting. Spring will come in time. The end. Yay. So our second full day, try to get to Trap Falls and back, and uh, a lot of it's ungroomed. And then we're also maybe gonna try to get up to the West Vista. There's a little picture of this otter track here. Come out of the water and slide along the snow. And then bloop. Tramp Falls. So we're on our way to the West Vista and the terrain was real steep. So we dumped the skis in the woods and we started hiking. And then we get on top of this mountain and it's a long flight hike. Just came out of the woods with the sun setting, and this is a view. That's the lake, Lac Superior. There it is, the camp. Seems like the wee small hours, but it's actually 7.30 and uh, clear skies. So Sandy and I are gonna go up to the East Vista and see if we can watch the sunrise. We're about a K from the overlook and we're hopefully gonna get there just in time for sunrise.
oh it was so worth it to get up in the dark and come up here mostly downhill back to the cabin and then we got to get out of there see if nat and elaine are done hugging their pillows we're gonna move to the yurt i think our cabin's out there somewhere and we're gonna move to the yurt which is down there on the shoreline somewhere so before we came up here checking the NOAA maps and it was showing 10 to 20 inches of snow on the ground and it's nothing for middle of January up here it should be in measuring feet uh, but the conditions have been awesome we're loving this temperatures are pretty easy on us uh, beautiful this is an awesome place so there's a cabin off to the left there and this is our little wood stash this is our little trek to the water. Come down here with the bucket. You take the bucket, you hold the fat part of the stick, you step one foot down delicately, get your stuff, and go. Say bye to Union River Cabin. Here we are at the resupply. We're gonna ski down the road and right on the lake shore is where our yurt is. A warm and cozy yurt for four. Worries left behind. So here we are arriving at Union Bay East yurt. Oh my God, that is cool L. Two blocks of frozen soup and some toasted rolls. Oh, it looks like it's, yeah, and this is a pot of snow or nothing down for water. We're gonna ski over to the escarpment trail, put on the snowshoes, go up to the ridge above, hike along that, either halfway or all the way to the observation point above Lake of the Clouds, drop down on a snowmobile trail, and then ski back 10 to 14 miles. Got a little calm air for a moment, so we're taking a pee and coffee break here. Oh! <laughs> Fall down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby.
we left the snowmobile highway, which is right over there. And we're back on a slow slog through an ungroomed, but actually pretty well packed trail. It's, just, snow it's all right though, it's all good. Mormon shelter closed. This is where they do a little gaslight skiing from in the winter, but not this year. Here we are, back to the yurt. Good day out. Fried rice dinner and little uh, Chinese red wine. <laughs> and here we got more fried rice heating up on the stove. our last full day here and the weather warmed up I think 36 37 degrees we went all out hiking this morning and we've all we're all going out our own direction right now well Sandy and Elaine hiking up the ski slope trying to get to the east vista Nat's gonna ski up the road a little and I'm just gonna try to knock out a loop here on trails you know there's one part of me that wants to complain because it's too warm and it's foggy and the snow's melting but I'm, I can't say that because this is just gorgeous dishwashing operation Uh -huh. Gonna feed the little chickadees one more time. Somebody left bird seed for us to share with them. Okay, we're leaving the Union Bay East Yurt. Feed the chickadees. 